So uh, tell me from, from your perspective, uh, as this program has you know, tried to recover from sanctions and build back up to a national level, what, what, what's been the hardest part? And what's, you know, as it started to come together now, what's been the most, uh, I guess, rewarding part of it? The hardest part was numbers. You know, when you go through those sanctions and you lose how many ever scholarships we lost. You know, my class came in in 2012, we were only 15 guys. Uh, we came in at the end of it, but it's that things like that last for a while. And, and lucky for us, we're USC, so it doesn't last that long. If it was any other college program, I think it would have probably devastated them for many more years. Um, and I really mean that. And that's just about the pedigree of our school and the, the recruiting process of our school. So, um, yeah, that's, I, I, think, I think that was the, the hardest part. And it, it feels good to, to, to come back and and to have a lot of respect for our team, not only for ourselves, but from other people. To be this confident, to have a coach we don't play for, and uh, just to love life, man. It's great. What What made you take that chance? I mean, back then, you, oh, you had man, to know yeah. it was going to be a, a, yeah. a climb. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I didn't really look at the sanctions like that. I, I, I mean, of course, you know, me and my family are smart people, but we did, but it, it. I came here for the school. I didn't come here for a coach. I didn't come here. That's why it's been easy to transition through the coaches. I came here for the school. I came here for the academics. I came here for the athletics. And I came out here for the networking. And all three of those I've taken advantage of. So with that being said, you know, I finished with 54 scholarship offers as a senior. And that's not to brag, but that's just to tell you that it could have been anywhere else. But I wanted to be here. And, and I really mean that. I'm happy I made my choice. Never had I thought about transferring out through the tough times. I wanted to be a Trojan for the rest of my life. That's why I put the hat on. So now you're here sort of as it's getting cranked back up again. USC was the dynasty of college football, right. and, and the next dynasty that came along was Alabama. Right, and and now two now of the greatest, two of the greatest uh, powerhouse football teams in college football, if not the two greatest. With that being said, it's going to be a great game. Now, college game day let me down. I'm just going to say that on camera. <laughs> uh, people wanted to use the excuse, well, it's not on the college campus. Well, neither is Lambeau Field. You know, I don't know if they're going to the community college or whatever in Lambeau, um, but you know they let us down. That's going to be the game of the week, possibly the game of the year. Year. But that being said, we got to come out, and be ready, and uh, all respect to that team. They got a great front. You know, you got you got 56, uh, 94, 90, all those dudes, uh, 22, 10. You know what I mean? I've been watching film on them like crazy. So know all of them in and out. Uh, can't wait to play against them. Because that's the current dynasty, and you guys want to be that again. How much of a measuring stick? How much of a moment is this to to sort of see? How much this program has recovered from? We uh, understand. From we understand. We you, you can try to give the political answer. Everybody's the same. We treat everybody the same. We know who we're playing week one. With that, we give them the most respect, and we can't but can't wait to play against them. Awesome.